everyone today I will be showing you a lesson to teach young children toddlers preschoolers kindergartners and first graders about frogs so children will be able to learn about the life cycle of a frog they will be able to learn about facts about frogs and then they will be able to have some fun in a sensory bin so let me just first start off with showing you the set that we have here that we're using for these activities this is a safari LTD frog set and as you can see these are very realistic figures they are handcrafted they are lead and phthalate free and I love how realistic they look this is probably the closest you will get to a frog and a tadpole at the bottom you will see that it will show the name of each figure very beautiful very very well done and these again at the bottom it will show the name of the figure so we'll be using these for uh, all of our activities today so here we have how to teach children about life cycle of a frog so here I have a principle and you can get all of the principles here on my blog for free I will post a link on the description box here we have the life cycle of a frog printable this is laminated and then you want to have um, the child match up the figures with the pictures up on the top here so that they can learn the life cycle of a frog eggs comes first then comes the tadpole you want to explain to the child the tadpole looks like a fish then comes the tadpole with legs the tadpole with legs has some hind legs then comes the froglet and as you can see the froglet has four legs then comes the adult frog and it's the big frog and then you have the child learn this way once they have learned you want to give them a bit of a challenge and you want to have them do a life cycle printable without any visual aids so then they will have to line up everything where it, where it goes, what goes first. Eggs, then what comes next? Tadpole. Tadpole with legs. Froglet. And then adult frog. And I think this is a really fun way to teach children about the life cycle of a frog. Let me show you another uh, way of doing these activities. Here we have these laminated cards. So if you want to not use the figurines, you can use these laminated cards and do the same thing. I have them in color. And I also have them in um, black and white. And you have the child just line up the cards just like that. And you can also do uh, them in black and white. And the black and white makes it a little bit harder for the child. Um, so... These are also available in, as part of the principle. Okay, so here we have a visual discrimination frog activity. And this is fun for children. As you can see, this principle has a lot of different frogs which are very similar. Some of them have very similar characteristics as this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So you have the child, you have these laminated um, cutouts, and you have the child look for the frogs Let's see, is it this one or is it this one? This is very good visual discrimination practice for kids. And visual discrimination is very important for kids when they're first learning um, to read. So then you try to figure out which one is it? Is it this one or is it this one? And the child goes on and on matching these fun frogs. Okay, and then here we have where they can make their own frog book. And this is a really fun activity in which kids learn about facts about frogs. They learn what frogs eat. They learn where frogs live, their habitat. They learn, their, they learn about their lifespan. They learn a little bit about the bodies of the frog. And they learn um, a lot of fun facts. They can create the book. Um, you, the parent or teacher reads them the facts. And then they would color in the pictures here. And then they would create the book. The parent or teacher would staple the booklet for them or make or maybe hole punch it and 
um, put some yarn or string around it, and then they will have their own little frog fact booklet, which they could save for years to come. It's really fun. Okay, and then lastly, guys, we have a sensory bin where children have fun. As you can see, we have frogs. These are real life frogs. And we have lily pads. And the children can have fun here in the water playing with these frogs, pretend play. And I made these lily pads out of foam. I just cut out the lily pad shape. And here we have some rocks that I got at the craft store. And as you can see, there's even some dirt in the water because these are real life uh, rocks. And this part of the habitat resembles the land part. So the children learn that frogs live on land and they also live in the water. So children have lots of fun here playing with these um, pretend play here. And my children have loved this so far. You can add other things in here, other types of frogs. Safari LTD has another pack with turtles and uh, frogs that you can add on to here. And this is such a fun way, fun thing to do with little kids. They just love the water. I don't know what it is, but children just love having fun with water. And another thing that I did to make this learning more interactive was that I took my child to the pet store and I had her look at live frogs so that she can have a real experience with live frogs. You can also get library books about frogs, show documentaries on YouTube about frogs, and make learning about frogs more engaging and interactive. If you would like to know where to get the Safari LTD set, uh, I will post a link in the description box where you can get these uh, very inexpensively um, to add to your collection. For more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.